Good morning folks. I'm at an undisclosed site at the moment. I'm here with three other guys. I had to travel in a state. It was a last minute thing and uh, I couldn't turn it down. And uh, so I'm here for the next couple of days or the weekend. And uh, as we go along with the video, we'll see if you can't guess who I'm with. Yeah, most of you, most of my subs would know them, I'm sure. But this is my first target this morning. Yep, I know. Let's just hope it don't keep going. Alright guys, see you on the next. I just got a bunch of foil. There's one of the guys just there. We're in an old scout camp, so that figure's part of one of those traveling toothpaste tubes. Here we are walking into the next site, into the next cellar hole, with my mystery diggers, and we'll catch you when we get there. First find at the second site, old debuckle. I got me an old shotgun shell, an old one too. That's a beauty. Hey guys, I'm kind of skirting the cellar hole. You can see this. Some old fence there, some old walls, runs all the way down. We're actually at a site, there is a cellar hole just down over the other side there. But I'm doing around the outside and just found myself a real nice button. I don't know what's on it yet, there is something on it. But I don't have my brush with me, I lost it on the last hunt. Look, shankage, still there. But I'll get back to you with that. It, it actually looks like a, an eagle, but I don't think so. But we'll check it out. Oh, look at that. Oop. For a beautiful old D buckle. <coughs> Pardon me. Look at the size of that. Isn't that beautiful? God, I love that. It's got to be horse tack for sure. Man, it's heavy. Oh, on to the next one. All right. I don't know what is on the front of that button yet. But it does look very cool. But there's a whole three of us up here. Digging and finding buttons. We're having a great old time. See you on the next one. Well, I'm down there. I could actually see a couple of Chinamen down in that hole. But dug about six foot deep to find this tiny little debuckle. Isn't that? It's, it's actually got a... A curve in it. Almost like a knee buckle, you know. Anyway, nice one. I just found myself another buckle. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. And it was deep, just like the other one. It's incredible. It's got that curve on it too. I think that might be maybe a corset buckles that we're finding. They're so small, but they've got that curve in it, which a normal buckle wouldn't have. So it's got to be for it some kind of clothing under the next all right so we're still in the same spot this spot is unbelievable look at look where we've been digging it looks like moon landing and i just found this we think it might be off a suspender but i'll find out more when i do some research on it but what a terrific little relic that is i love it all righty guys we're doing good we're having a great time this is just awesome. I just found a beautiful old fold-out knife. That is an oldie. And I bet the owner was bummed too because the blade's still intact. Normally you find them with the blade broken. They might have been sitting next to this tree. Coming out of their pocket. Well, they were using it, I think. It's still got the uh, badge on it. An old buck knife or something, but it's awesome. Yeah, missing one side of the handle so cool yeah there's another one found quite a few of them today yeah i just dug this out of the main well middle of a cart part i have no idea obviously it's adjustable it's got an earling on the top there for a tread 
could be a step up off a <clears throat> pardon me, a wagon. I don't know. I'll put the feelers out though and hopefully someone will come back with an answer and I'll let you know. Sweet. Right guys, I'm just doing a quick wrap up of our finds today and um hasn't been a bad day at all. That there turns out to be a King Tut button. Can you believe that? Well, yeah, obviously because you can see it. Hang on, there we go, focus for me. King Tut. I'm going to have to look that one up. Shotgun shells. Here's that button I found on the track there. That's a moose or a deer on there. See that? Could be an elk. But um, now we've got these smaller buttons. I'm sure they're clothing buttons because of the see the shape of them. I think they're off a corset. Any ladies, let me know. That there too. I think that's a suspender clasp. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, and there's a buggy pedal. We think that's a buggy pedal. That was found in the middle of the um, track too. The old car part. That looks like one of them adjustable step ups. Yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, the knife. You've seen all that. Then we go over to this other guy here, and uh, who I won't mention the name. And he's got suspenders. He's got some nice buttons. Real nice buttons. Check this out. Look at that for a button. And a, sorry about that. And uh, here. You think that's off the same? We think it might be off a blouse or something, very early blouse. So. Let's go over to the other truck and see what else they got. And yeah, here we go, that. we move to the next person that isn't talking. Because yeah. <laughs> we don't know who he is yet. Well, we probably do now. So check this out, would you guys? Oh. What year was that mystery person? 1925. 1925, and you'll know who he is now. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened was he found the gun. Sorry about that, I just blew your ears out if you got headphones on. And he was missing that. We went online and we had a look and found a picture of it. So we went back and started looking for the, the actual the door for the caps to put the caps in. And he found it. How cool is that? And then that's his. Okay, no further with that one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow.